I sort of felt that I just wanted to tell like a night in the life of Batman, you know, what what does a Monday night look like for Batman? But then we were the, when we hit on the idea of, of, of the blackout, that, that was when it was like, oh, okay, that's the that's the hook. It all came out of that simple idea that, that he's got to get from one side of Gotham to the other in total blackout with no support, like, like he's marooned, abandoned. And the entirety of Gotham is kind of trying to sort of uh, get on top of him, disable him, take him out, take out EMP, our, our, our new villain. So uh, yeah, it's, it's a very simple concept, I guess, you know, but it all just happens within one evening. EMP is, uh, he essentially, he feeds on energy, you know, so that can be electricity, um, it can be emotional energy, but he can't really control it. So he's been subdued in Arkham for years and years. They're basically transporting him from the old, um, maybe slightly outdated uh, Arkham Asylum to the new facility, Blackgate Prison. So he's traveling in this kind of Faraday cage, which is like a, you know, a box that keeps the energy kind of contained. But, you know, without giving too much away, things go wrong. He's a very volatile character, basically, and, 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 and Batman having to, to get this guy from one side to the other, you know, during this kind of crazy night is, um, is a challenge. It's a different muscle to flex, for sure. You know, um, uh, I've been lucky that, that, I've, that I've worked with some, some of the best writers in comics, but um, yeah, this is something different and, and it's definitely more challenging, but it's all the more uh, rewarding for it. I find drawing the thumbnails is how I write the script, essentially. Um, I write a little uh, outline of what's gonna um, occur in, in the issue. And, and then I basically get to to, to doing the layout. So, and that's how I can figure out the pace and, and, and the rhythm and, and the size of the scenes and how, how they all fit together. Um, I'm not sure I'm quite wired to sit down at a typewriter, you know, and literally write a sort of, you know, 30 page script and then then sit down and draw it, even though when I that, that's what I receive from other writers. I, I feel like for, for this thing, um, it sort of suits my, you know, just the way I do things that, 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 that I, I sort of write it by drawing it, you know, and I, and I edit it a lot and take stuff out and everything else, and I move pages around and panels around. But but I'm essentially um, I'm much more comfortable telling the story visually. That's uh, seemed to be the, the way that it's worked best for me. Yeah, I, I do love uh, using black, and what better character is there to use black on than than Batman? You know, I feel like. So many times when I've drawn him, you sort of do quite a lot of underdrawing, and the more black you add, the, he tends to just look better and better and better until you're just left with that, you know, iconic silhouette that, that, that we all know, with the two piercing eyes. And as if he wasn't black enough, you know, I've called this book One Dark Night, and it's set during a blackout, so it's, there's even more black uh, <laughs> in, in this book, which, which sounds like, you know, it could be easier, but it's actually super challenging to make that work in a really uh, effective way. One page that uh, remained exactly the same from the tiniest little thumbnail when I had the idea to the inks to the colour and, and and it's you know in the very early stages of, of Batman chasing EMP across Gotham it has a huge bat symbol kind of you know on City Hall you know it was, it was one of those pages where I could see it immediately and and I'm pleased to say the final art kind of you know uh, which is quite rare for me I, I was I was kind of reasonably happy with it so um that was the page that really kind of summed up the initial kind of you know momentum of the story and it was a, a lot of fun to draw you know the, the evening that, that it got announced you know I, I was sort of you know my, my phone was lit up for hours and hours and hours it was it was uh you know, this is a story that's very dear to my heart and, and, and I've put so, so much into it. So to get that kind of response from, you know, hopefully people are looking forward to seeing the book. It was just, you know, the icing on, on, on the cake for me. I've spent the last uh, year already on, on this story. Um, I'm putting everything I've got uh, into it and I, yeah, I can't wait for everyone to see it.